hello everyone welcome to yet another video where we are going to learn how to manage the old tricks in the broader in this video i imagine that you have already cleaned and disinfected your broader according to the standard in case you want to get more information on how to clean and disinfect the broader you can look out for another video of ours that shows you how we do it properly but now i'm imagining that the broader is clean and disinfected one how do we prepare the broader first we put litter litter is a material that we put down on the floor to cushion the cheeks from the cold that might come from the floor so we can either use wood shavings coffee husks rice husks pepper cut peppers just to make sure that the the cheeks do, do not become cold and they, it provides cushion for the cheeks then we round off the corners because majority of the brooders are rectangular or or square in 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 shape so we try to put corners we corner off the corners to make sure the corners are round then we close the windows and ventilators with material to avoid to avoid the heat escaping from the brooder now on the day of arrival what do we do we preheat the brooder three hours prior to arrival of chicks so we can provide heat using pots we can use charcoal stove or we can make any locally available heat source like is like we are showing here so one of the key aspects is we cover the heat source and we leave just a small opening for the heat to come out slowly because we do not want to burn these chicks and the key issue here is if you enter a brooder and you find that um yourself you are sweating or it is too hot for you then it is definitely hot for those chicks if you enter the brooder and you find they are so close to the heat source then that is little heat if they are very far away from the heat source then that is too much heat they are supposed to be evenly distributed in the brooder then you can know that the heat is good now when you go to pick your chicks from the supplier what do we look out for we look out for the quality of the chick first and foremost the navel should be sealed because every time the navel is not sealed and um, it is wet and the intestine is coming out that is a source of inf it will be a source of infection and source infection entry so we need a sealed navel we need active chicks open eyes um you remove any that is dead and check the number count them to see that they are actual number of chicks that you paid for some companies give bonuses make sure you get that bonus as well on arrival at the farm you have to count as you remove the chicks from the box vaccinate them as you reach the farm because sometimes ideally they're supposed to be vaccinated at the hatchery but in case they are not vaccinated then you may have to vaccinate them again you have to vaccinate on the eye or you can spray targeting the eyes while they are still in the boxes so in uganda here on day one we vaccinate against newcastle ib disease then you count them as you place them in the preheated brood brooder now in the brooder the chicks stay there for two hours you allow them get used to the brooder when you've put nothing after two hours we put water the water that we give the old chicks should be clean you add glucose you add vitamin please do not add an antibiotic in that water because when you add an antibiotic it will kill the vaccine and therefore you will render your birds unvaccinated and very prone to infection or to diseases that they would have vaccinated them on day one now when we are overturning the brooder we put stones the reason we put stones is just to allow the beak of the chick to access water and we don't want the chicks to become wet so we put stones like we are showing so you only put water enough to be drunk in one day because every day we have to keep changing water so you allow the chicks to drink the water and rest for two hours so after those two hours you then introduce feeds now the feeds you have you're introducing these are starter starter feed you put it on flat surfaces they can be clean paper trays they can be plates they can be papers but you distribute it evenly such that all the chicks can get access to the access to the feed 
and essentially you leave them to eat and then that is all we do on day one now one point to note is that on day three you have to remove those stones you also remove the paper that you covered the litter with and you also remove the papers you put in the ventilation to allow some aeration in the brooder especially during the day thank you very much and we, need, we meet again in the next video bye